everybody. It's Sean and Christy again. Hello there. Hey, welcome back to We Review You in Pigeon Forge. And where are we going today? The islands. The Woo! island. Hey, look at that. Got some new graphics. Oh, I like that. Did you make that? No. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I did. That's right. We're such nerds, but I think people are starting to like us. Hey, you know what? While we're talking about it, thank you guys so much for your support. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we really appreciate you and following us along. So... Hey, the island in Pigeon Forge. Have you ever been there before? I know Christine and Braden and I have. Yes. We What's love what? it there. It's, it's a fun place to go. We're going to show you all about it. What's one of your favorite parts of the island, Christy? I'll tell you what. I mean, I've got mine, but several things. What's one of your favorite? Just to walk around and watch the wheel go and the water show. Me too. I think the wheel and the water show, literally, we could spend our older lives <laughs> <laughs> together as we got older on the island. Just enjoy them. It's really cool, isn't it? Yes. So... Folks, welcome to the island of Pigeon Forge, and again, welcome back to We Review You. We really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing us, and make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you know somebody coming to the island, maybe somebody planning a trip to Pigeon Forge. Hey, look at that, Margaritaville. I worked there. <laughs> a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, 2014, we opened that on the island. People said it wouldn't happen, but now that you've got hotels stretching all around it, and you know, Christy, it is kind of an, a unique review we'll do today, because I don't think people know the island is actually surrounded by Margaritaville hotels. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it really is. We're going to talk about it today. So we're going over the bridge, kind of heading out now. We've parked and, you know, you can ride the tram up like Christy and I like to do. Or in this case, we wanted to show you guys the quick little entrance from the parking lot up and you're on the island. So look, Christina and I are just going to cut in on each other and just talk about it. You know, feel free, Christy, to pipe in, tell them your thoughts. Mm -hmm. the biggest thing I like about the island is if you guys are with children or you're with church groups like our shout out to our new friends we're going to bring up here in a little while yes adults uh maybe you're newlyweds or dating couples the island is absolutely a perfect spot to go wouldn't you agree and uh one thing i really like is the shops that you're seeing right now they're very unique it's it's just a unique uh collection of all kinds of different gift ideas or original items oh and don't forget restrooms oh restrooms <laughs> so we want to point out there's restrooms all along the trip and we chuckle because you'd be surprised the number of people said you know what a bathroom is yep, yeah they're all over now look you guys know fish tanks don't tap on them do me a favor go see our friends but don't tap on the glass these guys are literally sitting out there waiting for you to come view them you can come inside and the shopkeepers will let you interact but try not to touch on the glass they asked me to point that out in the video today right See her shaking her head? She said, that's right. Go on and get you a souvenir. And go out and say hello with the parents and all the macaws, cockatiels. And wait a minute, is that another restroom? That's another one. <laughs> Christina restrooms. Yeah, so look, let's point that out. You see the little shops on, on the below side. And then on top, every one of those balconies is your Margarita Island Hotel. Yeah, those are the hotel rooms up there. Yep. You sure are cute. You know what? Aww. I like buying you a treat. Thanks. We'll go walk over and get them something somewhere. So this but place, it never gets old, does it, Christy? No. It's really a fun place to go, just go spend the day. Yeah. Like the Island Tiki. Or should we say the Island Tiki? Go uh -huh. inside and check it out. They got some pretty cool stuff. Hey, there's a room up there for Margaritaville. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It is. It, people don't realize you actually literally are in a whole bunch of shops. And it kind of reminds me of a virtual outdoor Las Vegas. Yeah, it does. Hey, St. Somewhere Spa, you want to go get yourself a massage? Treat yourself to a little bit of pampering, go right on ahead. Just walk around the island. Where's one of your favorite stores? I'll tell you what mine is, Emery's Five and Dime. You guys are going to have to look it up yourself, but come on in with us. That's one of my favorites, too. Ooh, want to get some neat candies? <laughs> Some oldie goodies. Yep, like bun bars. Remember those? Now we got to tell you a funny story about our search for a special candy. You have to stick around to the end of the video to find out. Oh yeah. Emery's Five and Dime. Now, Christina, yes. what are you doing? Oh man, we found the hat. <laughs> You looked really cute. Those a 10 gallon or 15 or 20 oh, gallon. Oh, they were huge. And a special shout out to our new little friends, our Aww. little YouTube buddies. You know who you are. Hey, guys. I told you guys, and mom with the new baby and dad, shout out to our new friends. I promised you guys I'd put you on there. So little memories of your trip to the island in Pigeon Forge. Hello, little friends. 
They were such a nice family. Yeah, they sure were. Hope you guys made it safe and enjoy your stop. And to our friends from Florence and their Aww. Gatlinburg 2022 trip. Shout out to our new friends. Yes, hello. Have you ever had a bird's famous cookie? We have. And there is the wheel. Oh yeah, it's so big and I love the lights on it. Yeah. And the views, you know, I don't want to spoil it, but there's just something about the island. If you've ever been to Branson, Missouri, Pigeon Forge, our area looks just like it. We're both modeled from the same creators. So you'll see a lot of the same shops, although Christy and I have not got a chance to. I've actually seen Branson, Missouri. It looks just like Pigeon Forge. Really, really neat shops. And also kids activities. I can't do those. <laughs> no, you me can go either. do no, it. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, and the Mellow Mushroom. What good pizza. Oh, you just got to go try it yourself. Have you guys ever been to Mellow Mushroom? Leave a comment in there. Christy and I want to know. It's really, really good pizza. Yeah, and you know, Christy, I think it's good that you pointed out you were right. In the evening, it's probably best for us. People ask, when is the greatest time to go, right? There's no bad time. But Christy and I like to go towards the evening, yes. right before sundown, so you yes. can get views like this. Yes, you get to see the island in the daylight just for a little bit, and then the nighttime with all the pretty lights. That's right. Like the island trading post. Oh, or dudes and daiquiris. <laughs> Just remember this place is surrounded by little island rides so you do want to make sure it is a fully ticketed office and location right up in the front and you want to make sure that you go buy tickets they don't accept cash so you would have to buy tickets we wanted to point that out little tip of the island there you go out and enjoy some of the rides now one of my favorite parts that i know christie's we equally agree is the, their arcades the arcade it's oh, a yeah. pretty big one too it's huge come on in plenty of hand sanitizing stations that we wanted to point out throughout the location yeah i like that and it is, once again, a ticketed, so you would receive tickets for prizes, so you can go in and just have a great time. They do have the little cards, so your parents, if you're looking for a neat idea, load up a little card, let your kids go and enjoy, have some great time. Beautiful location. Oh, yeah. Very big and clean. I liked it. <laughs> Were you winning again? No. You always are winning. No. And listen, I'm sorry, but I just have to point out, did we say the island wheel? The wheel the wheel you know there is a gondola so if you like and you're getting married here's another pro tip there is one little gondola so if you have a big family or you just want to put a little bit of people in there and have a little special time with a see-through bottom floor unless they've changed it rent the gondola it's definitely well worth it yes very cool well i don't know about you but i'm getting tired <laughs> i think we should take them over and show them a couple last things before we wind this video down what do you think christy that sounds good Ah, oh, the island, Chris. How did we get so blessed moving to a place like this? Very blessed. I know we meet a lot of you out there, and we talk to you, and we interact. And so many of you say, where you're from, Alabama, like our friends Florence, our new friends from Florida and Illinois, all over the country. Leave a comment. Let us know where have you visited from. Christy and I really like to know when we read these things. Have you ever been to a Dick's Last Resort? <laughs> One time a while ago. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. <laughs> well, I know you have. I'm saying, have they been to a Dick's Last Resort? That place is amazingly fun, but... Oh, that wheel. It's pretty. It really is. So are you. Thank you. Now, you know they do have that brand new Sky Soar, which is 5D, not the 3D, 4D rides. Where are we going to get to 6D, 10D? Where are we going to be at? It's like the Rocky movies. They, they just keep right on going, right? So you know what? This is America's best new attraction, and we have it right here. In the Pigeon Forge, the island. At the island. You got it, baby. So go check out Skyfly. Brand new Soar America right here in Pigeon Forge. That's a pretty cool new attraction there. Yeah. And of course, you've got Paula Deans, but you know, here comes Christy. And my favorite other part. Nope, not Old Smoky Moonshine. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? Any guesses? That's right. The water show. The water show. Ah, uh, you know what, folks? Go get yourself a hot chocolate. Maybe yourself an ice cream, or just get you something 
share, grab the hand of that special someone, and go sit down and watch the water show. Yes. It's it's a really it's an awesome show. Yeah. I think we should just pause and let them just watch it. Okay. I can sit here and watch this all night long. You know, the water shows go to music, and I'm sorry, folks, due to copyrights, I have to actually block it out, so many of you YouTubers know what I'm talking about, but this would actually be timed to music, and it goes off every, I think, 20 minutes or so, so check the schedule while you're there. So, yeah, if you guys were here, you'd be watching this actually synchronized to the music but look, I've done a fairly decent job of synchronizing it to the music, yeah? Come yeah, on. Yeah, pretty good job. Have you guys ever been to the Paula Deans? I have one of those as well. There's a and big gift shop on the bottom yeah. and a restaurant on top. Yeah. It's, buf uh, what do they call that? Buffet? Uh, family style buffet, so they keep bringing you stuff. Remember, no takeouts. No. It's kind of odd. <laughs> Some people don't understand that, but it's a neat place. But yeah, I think it's time to wind it down. It's so pretty. Now, I told you guys I was looking for a special candy, right? Yeah. And we looked and looked and looked, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't remember the name of it. Well, there is a store called Sweet. Sweet. The Sweet. And as Christy just said, Sweet, I'm going to walk in and I'm going to show you what I mean. Have you ever been to a Sweet before? Oh, that store, it's like a little Willy Wonka. Oh, candy paradise. <laughs> Mecca. And I know I wasn't allowed, so I'll... And I promised I wouldn't, but I got to give a special shout out to the people in the blue shirts. You know who you are. The employees of Sweet. <laughs> Say it again, Christy. Sweet. Sweet. Who found my very special candy. Have you ever had a triple coconut bar? The chocolate, the delicious strawberry, and the little vanilla. Oh, I have. And I looked for it forever, and I couldn't find it. It's a candy you liked as a kid, right? It's my candy I liked since I was a kid. You can only find it. I grew up, you find them in Indiana and, and little places around the north, but they took it away. And I asked, and a couple of them said, well, I think we have it. Another one said, well, I'm pretty sure we have it. And my boy, my blood pressure was going. And I'll tell you what, shout out to my new friends, because with all the gummy bears and all the candy there, I found my candy. No, they found my candy. This guy... That guy, you know who you are. That young lady, that guy back there, and my new ambassador of candy, this guy. You know who you are, my man. <laughs> Shout out to you. Oh, he's the one that found it oh, for you. Oh, he did. And you guys, you don't know how much I appreciate you, so... Corporate America, give a shout out to your staff of Sweet. They did a great job, so... Yes. Well, Christy, we better head out. You know, they had one of those Ford Bronco uh, little fests in town, which is pretty cool, and... As you walk out, you get a little car show heading out. Oh, yes. The nice car line. <laughs> and the bridge. Oh, it's lit up. It's pretty. It is. So pretty. And you can take the tram. Uh, we were actually blessed to be able to be right in the very front, which was really nice. But you take the tram out. Oh, oh and speaking of the tram, <laughs> listen to this. Okay, all you wild women, this is tram stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all the wild women at? Oh, hey, there they are. Hey, now, if you go. Now, those were some wild women. Now, I wasn't flirting. <laughs> no, they were a fun, fun bunch. Right yeah. There. This is what you experience. Families, groups. Wait a minute. Say goodbye again. Wave. Bye, ladies. Bye-bye. No, no. <laughs> okay, so what a fun day. We just left. Ooh, that island. There is so much to do. Oh, my gosh, it is. Ooh. And so... You guys come out here and go to the island and go enjoy it, have some fun, go ride the wheel, get some food, yep. have a good time. It's a good time. It for is a family, good time. for couples. It's a great if time. You just want to just go walk around and check the sights out. It's pretty cool. It is. So we're heading back out to the parking lot and it's dark, so we've turned the light on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, light. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. So take care. Hope you've enjoyed this review. It's been a long one. <laughs> but now we're going to go home and relax. Oh, I see the wheel in the background. I see the wheel in the background. Okay. See ya. See y'all.
yeah, we'll see y'all again very soon. I hope you guys continue to follow Christy and I on and hit that support by like, sharing, and subscribing to our videos. And we'll take you on some more adventures. That's right. Our channel sit here and waits. You want to go on some more adventures with us? Follow along. This is We Review You from Pigeon Forge, our home here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Christy, I think we should also give him one more pro tip. Should we give him one more pro tip before we go quickly? All right, go for it. Take Teaster Lane, or as we say, Teister Lane, T-E-A-S-T-E-R, when you're leaving the island. Teaster Lane will take you right back out. Pro tip, I know the locals hate me, but because I am local, I figure I'd share it with you guys. If you guys see the traffic here, you will take about a 15 to 20 minute ride from the parking lot back up to the island as you go to Parkway. Pro tip, Teaster Lane. That's T-E-A-S-T-E-R Lane. It'll save you a lot of time. That's right. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye. See ya.